Uh, yeah, good morning, Tomas. Good morning, Chris and Bree. How are you? Uh, well, okay. we were talking a lot about the CNMI uh, yesterday, and uh, of course, I was able to ask the governor that question about the furloughs that are uh, going down there. And man, and then just thinking about everything that uh, you've been reporting on, my heart goes out to the Northern Marianas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's changing times for everyone, and uh, you know, just to provide some updates. Uh, in addition to that, yesterday we're going to be I'm going to be seeing if I can contact Department of Labor and the Governor's Office to get some numbers um, with uh, any any uh, furloughs or layoffs that might have been affected already. Um, but just to provide more info in the CNMI as of last night, we have three new COVID-19 confirmed cases on island, and they were announced by the Governor's COVID-19 Task Force. Of the three new cases, as we reported last night, two are male, ages 45 and 53, and one is female, age. 53. The new cases are monitored by medical. The three new cases are monitored by medical teams at the designated quarantine location on Saipan, which is Kanoa Resort. And there are now 11 total confirmed cases in the NMI, including those two unfortunate deaths. They await the results of six specimen right now. And the Commonwealth Healthcare Corporation is also preparing to use a portion of its parking lot to set up that 50 bed field hospital on Navy Hill that they received from the national stockpile. We also learned yesterday from the hospital CEO, Esther Almunia, that massive testing of members of a faith-based organization, um, rather massive screenings have taken place between uh, 400 and 500 of of those members who voluntarily offered themselves up for screening, and they continue to be monitored through their texting system and by uh, some of the officials. Almunia also confirming on island testing capabilities are potentially available in late April or early May. She, of course, says the ideal situation is for everyone on the island to be tested. And with regards to PPE and staffing, she says that they're able to operate with sufficient supplies for the moment and no one is being left without a PPE at the hospital, especially after the arrival of the materials. And also overnight, the regional task force released the priority uh, details for testing. And with the exception of a few specimens submitted to the CDC and the state of Hawaii laboratory, the majority of specimens from the CNMI have been tested on Guam and so those are some of the updates that we learned uh, over the past few days. Right. It, it, do you have any further update? Um, I know there were uh, there was a letter that the governor issued regarding furloughs um, of, go- uh, not, um, of government employees there and I believe a list was supposed to be submitted yesterday to the governor's office. Has there been any other information on that? Yeah, I'm, I'm working to get that information okay. today from the governor's office and potentially from, um, you know, the different departments themselves who, you know, who obviously offered these lists up. I do know that they were, uh, some were delivered, obviously they had to, and um, we hope to get those numbers, uh, you know, and some and also hear from, you know, the experiences as well, because um, these are real people we're talking about. Yeah. So, um, yeah, not, uh, but I don't have that right now. So. Okay. Well, just for clarification, are we looking at a uh, reducing the government in in half, or is That's, it just uh, the budget by half? I there, you know, it wasn't exactly clear, but I know that uh, I'm trying to pull up the release. Um, yeah, I'm just going the, off of memory. The, yeah, the the release says um, reducing the the cost, so you know you would you would. I don't know how that translates to necessarily the amount of personnel, but right. But I think that you know the main takeaway is that you know a lot of people are going to lose their jobs. Yeah. Yes, that that is the case. You know, I I listened to the previous interview uh, right before me, and uh, it's interesting to see how things like the PUA and uh, CARES Act are actually in effect. I'm I'm working to get um, our U.S. delegate, our Congressman Kilili, uh, to do an interview with KUAM to to kind of draw this out as especially to what it means specifically right. to the to the CNMI. So. Man, uh, Tomas, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Khalidi. If you, yeah. could, if you could arrange that, uh, we would, we'll would we clear the way. We'll give him all the time he wants. Mm-hmm. Uh, the same goes for our congressman. Right. Yeah, I'm going to reach out to him today, but if any of his staff were listening in, um, we, we'd love to uh, hear from him. I know I know he's been uh, releasing his own press releases um, mm-hmm. practically daily, but uh, yeah. uh, right. yes, it would be nice for people to hear from yeah, I've him been directly. Yeah. I know he's a stuck in D.C. now because of the travel, so right. um, he's definitely there putting and work man but you know he's uh, definitely keeping uh, busy and I think he kind of sets the example for the region of what a congressman um, and how a congressman should communicate with um, all of the constituents not just the select few yeah he's open to the media so yeah. I know he's uh, gonna be willing to find time for the interview with the time difference so right. yeah so.
All right. Well, thank you so much, Tomas. Um, if you can hook that up with that interview, let us know. Um, and if, whether you do it over there or we do it, um, we'll definitely get it done. <laughs> For sure. And, uh, you know, just encouraging everyone, Esther Munya definitely provided some really uh, good information yesterday. That interview is streaming live on Facebook right now. So. Yes. And there were so thousands really of excited. people that watched that interview. All right. So thank, thank you. you. I really so appreciate it. Thank you, Tomas. Thanks. All right. Day. There you go. Uh, Tomas McGlotnia, our man in the uh, CNMI.